Back at the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach, you're watching the best battle on the racetrack. This is third, fourth, and fifth. Tagliani, Dominguez, and Bourdais. All bunched together. It's interesting to note that Paul Tracy has 13 starts here at Long Beach. If you combine the number of starts of Tagliani, Dominguez, and Bourdais, you come up with 13. So Paul has as many starts here as third, fourth, and fifth combined. And he has three more wins than them combined, too. That's right. <laughs> Now, an interesting thing shaping up, where when you have the three cars running together like this, they're coming into the window for the last pit stop. And they all stopped within a lap of each other, but if, if one of them was able to save fuel, uh, Paul Genalozzi gave us a little bit of a clue. He says, this is the heaviest the tags will, will be all day. That means they took on more fuel. These guys, that's why these guys are bunched up behind them. If you're bunched up behind a guy in the old days, what you used to do is you'd say, I'm gonna try to go a lap longer. That would be the perfect time to employ that that push to pass button for that entire lap. Use all 60 seconds if you have to to make that lap a blinder because that's the lap that's going to match up against the guy who just pitted lap on cold tires and make, you know, make up the maximum positions. But Tag's got uh, news for them. He's got he's fueled up all the way. He's probably going to try to go to uh, maybe 10 laps further than when that window first opens up. And we're where the weight where the weight affects you the most is right there under braking weight is a thing that affects you everywhere it's like having when you have extra weight on board it doesn't stop as well it doesn't accelerate as well and it doesn't turn as well so uh but braking is probably the area you feel it the most we understand that jenkara is going to be in very very shortly possibly the next lap ryan hunter ray who missed the first turn coming back on course after doing a j turn Running in seventh position, there are eight cars. Make that 11 cars on the lead lap. Now, Hunter Ray was a perfect example of a guy I thought who might employ that risky strategy where you gamble on there maybe being a yellow, maybe even more so now. If he were to stop now, he's not, you know, that's Justin Wilson in front of him in seventh place. Should care is in, Derek, headed toward you. And Junkera likes these option tires. They are softer and faster, he believes. Tommy, he is now going to go back on the option tires for a second time in this race. That is an unusual strategy as opposed to what we see from Paul Tracy. Wow, I can't tell you the noise and the vibration when these things sit, blasted on that rev limiter. Jankara with his second stop now. Now, now they've thrown down the gauntlet. Now, Bruno Jankara, the risk of Paul Tracy staying out is tremendous. If a yellow comes, Bruno Jankara wins this race. It's as clear as that. I'd be very surprised if Tracy does not stop on this lap. Only had two cautions in this race for a total of six laps. Count me as very surprised. <laughs> if it stays green to the end, Tracy's plan is faster. There's no two ways about it. But the risk reward of staying out, he's going to lose a few seconds to guys that stay out and run longer by uh, those cold tires that I was talking about. But it's just not worth the penalty if a yellow comes out. A.J. Allmendinger lost a lap on the very first lap. He's in 13th position, and Dominguez is in, Calvin. He is. He's putting the pressure on Tagliani, Bob, but they couldn't wait any longer. They're switching from the option tire to the harder tire for this final stint. They were only going the full fuel of another great stop as Allmendinger passes him by. It doesn't surprise me that the two teams that... I think probably the highest of in terms of strategy, the Newman Haas team and the Aerodez team have employed this, uh, what I feel is a very shrewd strategy. Mario Dominguez was the 2002 Champ Car Rookie of the Year. Gracious gesture by A.J. Allmendinger yeah. there. He's a lap down. He knows that Dominguez needs to make time on these cold tires. Now watch Dominguez trying to push on cold tires. 1,500 pounds, 750 horsepower on tires that will feel literally like they're on ice for a couple laps. That's Rodolfo Levine that he has come out just ahead of. He's running in ninth position. thing he wants to do is let 
Levine by. He knows he's quicker than Levine, was running quicker throughout the race. But those cold tires, he's having a tough time holding them off. And in fact, will not. Oh, here comes will he? is back. <laughs> So his hope now is that Levine will be heading for the pits before too long, before he starts impeding his forward progress. Off the hairpin. And Levine will not make a pit stop this time. Finished 18th in the point standings last year, did put off of Levine. Walker racing. And Dominguez. And the reason that was a pretty good gamble by Junquera is he was about 10 seconds clear of third place Tagliani. So we saw by stopping early, it cost him about five seconds to Paul Tracy because of those cold tires. He has five seconds to give to second place. So there's nothing but upside for Bruno Junquera. He gets a yellow, he wins the race. Down to Calvin Fish. Well, Long Beach always brings out the stars. Pleasure to see Paul McCartney, his wife here. Paul, what brings you to Long Beach today? Um, Heather was doing an interview with Paul Newman last night, and so uh, we came along. Paul invited us, so we came along to watch his uh, his team, Newman Haas. Pretty exciting stuff when you're great. Yeah, it's great, man. It's noisy. <laughs> we love it, don't we, baby? Yeah, a lot of testosterone flying around. Absolutely. What about your man here? Does he like to drive fast when he's on the street? When he's what? When he's on the street, is he a good driver? Yeah, he's not bad. As good as me, but he's not bad. <laughs> All right, guys, great to see you both there. My little car's never going to seem the same after this. <laughs> the legend, Paul McCartney. There's Sebastian Bourdais running in third spot. He is among those needing a second pit stop here, and this battle continues on the racetrack. And here comes Bourdais. Derek Daly. They have elected to put him on a different strategy to his teammate, Bruno Junquera. He is not going to use the option tires for this last run, which means he just used it in that middle stint. They made a tire pressure change earlier. He said the car is very good. So for a man on his way, hopefully, to the podium, 